Hi everyone, so this is my first ever bullet journal plan with me. Um, it's going to be for February 2019 and it's in a Leuchtturm A5 hardcover dot grid notebook. Um, so as you can see I'm just grabbing some pens and I have totally forgotten the name of these brush pens but I will pop it up on the screen for you. I'll go and have a look. And I just had a little title page here that I had in my mind and it didn't turn out how I thought it would um, but I stuck with it anyway I've just left it it's really not a big deal in the in the grand scheme of things that's the thing I'm loving about bullet journaling is that if I do it a bit wrong it really doesn't matter because in a few days I'm past that page anyway um, but yeah so I use that brush pen to write out Feb and then I use some Crayola super tips to do some little hearts obviously for Valentine's Day I had already um, done myself some little guide dots of where I needed to draw out my monthly calendar grid so that I didn't bore you to death um, by measuring out all the squares and stuff in the video. Um, my grids and my habit tracker and stuff, for example, are never perfect. So they're not, you know, they don't have the exact same amount of squares for each day or um, each section even some of the days of the week might have a slightly longer section they might have an extra square or so just so that I can make it fit in that really doesn't bother me at all I don't find it that noticeable um, but I, ha I have just noticed it a little bit as I've been watching this and I thought someone might comment on it but I honestly don't mind I think once it's all set up it really doesn't make that much of a difference I like to keep my monthly calendars really simple because I put a lot of stuff on there. It starts out quite empty, um, obviously at the beginning of the month. And then as things get planned in and things get rescheduled and all that sort of thing, it gets quite busy. So I like to keep it fairly simple and I like my boxes to be quite large just in case there's more than one thing that I need to add in for that day. So I actually winged this um page a little bit with like I said I put some little guide dots in for myself but I didn't actually know if I had put enough boxes so as you can see I'm just checking now to see um what day the month starts on and I realized that I actually got it pretty much perfect and I could rub out some of the last boxes so that's what you'll see me do in a minute um I got it perfect to the 28th on that first page there so then I could rub out the rest so I have changed up how I'm doing things a little bit in 2019 and I'm still fairly new to this system. So you can see that I check back, here you go, I check back quite a lot to see how I did things last month because I know that I really liked how things looked in January so I wanted to make sure I kept it the same for February and I wanted to make sure that my colour code was the same because I want to use this all throughout the year. So I've got these pastel highlighters from Stabilo which I really really love. I've had them for about a year and a half now and they're still going strong. So I cut a chunk out uh, just then of me filling in lots of boring appointments and my lectures and Archie's agility and things like that because I didn't think you needed to see me write everything into my planner but basically I start by writing in everything that I know for definite um, and highlighting it the relevant colours and then I highlight all the dates in pink and the days of the week in pink because I just like how that looks and um, then I go through my phone calendar and check dates and things and make sure that there's nothing that I've missed. So for example here I realised that we have a half term from school in February and I had forgot to mark that on so I went on to the council website just to double check the dates for that and wrote those in as well um, and then which is also new for me this year I'm going through and planning which videos I would like to upload this month I know a lot of people don't like to show in advance the videos that they're hoping to upload um, however I don't mind because in all likelihood this will probably change this is just a sort of rough plan for me things that I think I might like to upload um, based on the sort of things that I had planned to upload in January and if I have extra videos that I want to upload that I haven't planned in or I don't film a certain video but I film something else instead I'll just edit the plan it really doesn't bother me to do that I really love that bullet journaling has actually made me care less about the perfectionism and stuff I know it looks like a painstaking process um, you know when you're seeing someone plan and all the color coding and stuff but 
This is really mild for me. When I used other planners, I was all about the stickers and like regimented color codes and all sorts of stuff. I was so particular about how my planners looked. Whereas this, so many things have gone wrong with it and I've just rolled with it. Um, and I think it's, I don't know. I don't know why it is, but I love it. Um, I just added some washi there again. It was like Valentine's themed for February and I'm just writing February at the top with one of my super tip markers and adding a little shadow type thing. Um, and yeah, that is literally it for my monthly spread. I told you it was simple. It really is. And I have enough space there to add things in as they happen as well. Um, I'm just adding some little stickers in for the UKPA Big Meet, which is on the 3rd of February. And those stickers are from Danny over at Chocho and Mimi. She very kindly sent them to me. Um, and I wanted to use a few just because I'm not using my normal planners anymore. I worried they wouldn't get used. So I put some in here. This next spread is a habit tracker, which I don't know how much it'll get used in February because so far in January, I'm not being massively good about filling it out. Maybe I'll have a rethink about how I format it, but I thought I would plan ahead and do one for February just in case by some miracle, I end up getting better at filling this out in, in January. I don't know, but we'll give it a go anyway. It's a very simple design. It's literally just a grid. I just counted out 21 squares so that there would be enough space. And then I just made all these tiny little boxes for me to colour in if I complete a task during that day. And I spoke about it in my recent bullet journal setup video, but at the moment I'm just tracking everything that I want to be a habit, even if I know I'm already doing it, just so that I can see for definite the things that I am good at doing and the things that I'm not so good at doing. Um, and I do make a mistake in a minute and I've left it in deliberately because again, I want to show you that you can make mistakes and it's fine because it's just not a big deal and everything is really easily fixable with a bullet journal. So you can see I wrote habits and then straight underneath I wrote Feb 2019, but obviously that then wouldn't leave me with any space to write my habits in that I'm wanting to, ch to actually track. So I have um, a spare page at the back of the bullet journal that I had ripped out of the back and I just kept it specifically for mistakes like this and I trimmed it down to size um, and then I just used some, I can't remember if I used glue or double sided tape, I'm sure we'll see in a minute, I think it might have been tape and I literally just stuck it over the top and honestly I know it doesn't look that great but in person you just can't really notice it that much because I made sure that the dots all lined up. And it just, it just wasn't a problem at all. And then as you know, as you'll see, I had space to write my habits in and it was crisis averted. And I've done this several times so far in this bullet journal. Occasionally I just get carried away and I start writing stuff or I start drawing stuff. And then I'm like, hang on, now I've got no room to do this. Or my, I have a go at doing lettering and it just turns out rubbish. So I just stick some paper over the top and have another go. Either way, it's a really, really simple hack for covering up any mistake that you've made. So I'm looking back to January's habit tracker and just copying out all of the things that I want to track. I'm actually, fi I filmed this video um, only on the 5th of January or the 6th of January, sorry. So it was actually really close to the beginning of January when I was filming this and I couldn't remember everything I had said that I wanted to track. But um, yeah, I'm just adding my little shadow in with my biro and that is it. For the habit tracker it is as simple as that again this spread is a new one that i have decided to try for february after seeing it on pinterest i have a lot of work to be doing for university over the next nine months my dissertation is due in in september which seems a long time away but in the grand scheme of things when you've got a twenty thousand word thesis to write it's not a long time away so i decided to do a university work tracker as a way of keeping me accountable and to get me to do at least a couple of hours of uni work every single day my camera died so you didn't get to see me lettering that uni work title and i was really annoyed because i was actually quite proud of it for once but basically it's just going to be like a bar graph so i've got hours worked and it goes all the way up from one to ten and i'm going to do like a sideways bar graph um obviously 10 hours of uni work is quite extreme there won't be many days like that but occasionally when it's getting close to deadline time i do just go and spend a whole day in the library and um, the other day i spent a whole afternoon in the library and that was like five hours and it felt like i was only there for like two hours so i do get like immersed in it quite quickly 
Um, so it would be quite possible for me to go and spend a whole day there in the library. But I'm just interested to see how much work I actually get done in February, to be honest. So I decided to try that out. It might not happen every month. Then I really loved that this spread I did for myself in January, as you can see when um, I flipped back to it, it hadn't even been used yet because at the time it wasn't even the 7th of January yet. But um, I decided to do a similar spread for the first week of February, although actually it's it's mostly still January this week. Um, it's I think it started on the 28th of January or something like that this week. Um, I saved you the pain of having to watch me hand letter everything because I'm literally so bad at it. I practice so much and I'm just not getting any better. It's so annoying. But anyway, I decided to make this a vertical layout again because I loved that one I had done before. Again, my columns are not all the same width. It just doesn't bother me at all. Um, I feel like when you look at the page, you focus on the uh, like the titles the days of the week anyway rather than the columns themselves so it just it doesn't bother me um I'm also making that like bottom bar at the bottom focused on university so that I can make like a to-do list type thing um specifically for university I find that really helpful and I'm just checking my calendar again so I can get the dates right yes this week did start on the 28th of January um and then I think I decided, yeah, I'm doing my little shadow and I decided, I think, in a minute to go and try and add some sort of bunting at the top of the page like I did with the January page. Um, but the January one was meant to be like fairy lights um, and that ended up looking a lot better than this one ended up looking, I must say. Um, but, you know, A for effort. <laughs> I did try um, and I just again it's just you know a little bit of creative freedom and it doesn't matter if it doesn't turn out brilliantly it's you know the thought that counts and the creativity that counts but basically I wanted to make like a like a heart bunting or something because that's going to be my theme for February obviously with it being Valentine's and yeah it it just didn't turn out so good but it's fine now I'm doing my usual of adding in everything for the week that I know for definite. Um, so I've got one of our niece's birthdays on that Monday and then that weekend is quite busy. On the Saturday I have the UK Planner Alex Big Meet in Essex and then um, on the Sunday I have my niece's birthday party. Um, and I'm using another one of those stickers from Chocho and Mimi that says planner friends make the best friends. Um, I didn't mind that I had filled up that whole column because I knew that I was going to be in Essex that weekend and I probably wouldn't be using my journal. So it made sense to just fill up the space with a nice sticker. So that is it everyone. I really hope you enjoyed this first plan with me and you're looking forward to seeing one every month. If you have any questions let me know and I will see you next time. Bye guys.